Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Steve again, Harmless Rebel. Time for another update. What's spinning kind of video. Actually, I think most of this is uh, stuff I've bought within the last five or six months. But uh, first up, this is one I should have showed in the um, High Roller Records update that I did or video that I did. Um, this is the debut EP from Cloven Hoof. Uh, this was released a few years ago, maybe 2000, uh, 2017. Um, this is fantastic. Uh, if you guys haven't heard, I've always loved the first Cloven Hoof record. Um, I've always thought the band is super underrated. Um, this EP would probably go, if I were to do a list of the top 50 metal EPs, this would go in there somewhere. I love this thing. I gave it six or seven spins. And then kind of going back to that last video where we discussed or, uh, you know, where one of the big complaints is that High Roller always does the album covers on the posters. Here's another great one. Now, I don't know if High Roller did this because uh, this was actually pressed uh, three or four years ago by Buried by Time and Dust. So this may have been done by Buried by Time and Dust and High Roller just bought the rights for it. But uh this is a really good poster of them early on in masks. I had never seen this before, um, which is very cool. I really dig that. Uh, just a fantastic uh, slab of new wave of British heavy metal. Now, this is not just the EP. Uh, side one is the four song EP. And then side two, uh, or the B side is uh, a, a demo from 1982, the same year that this was released. Um, all eight songs are fantastic. This is one I highly recommend grabbing, whether you're into traditional metal, new wave of British heavy metal. It's just a, a killer EP. Um, next up, so who released these? Church of Vinyl with Sanctuary uh, Records um, have just released three of the later Dokken albums. Um, I've liked just about everything that Dawkins released. Um, other than that album that they put out a couple years ago of their late 70s and early 80s songs, I could have lived without that one, though there were a couple of good songs on there. Uh, but this is Erase the Slate. Uh, this is the last, uh, is it Pilsen? I think this is the last album that he was on. Um, you know, the one thing I'm missing from this one, I, I really like this album. It is a good album. I'm definitely missing uh, George Lynch on here. I don't remember who the guitarist is on here. It wasn't a guy I was familiar with, but uh, and he he's good. Um, I have no real complaints about him. Um, just not as good as Dawkins was. Um, I've always liked this album. I, I have this on. I've had this on CD for years. Uh, really nice to finally have it on vinyl. Um, they did an okay job with these. They cleaned up the logo. the The pictures are still pretty fuzzy though. They could have done a better job on that. Um, grab these while they're still available. Uh, they only did 500 of them. They're popping around for 40 to 50 bucks. That's about what they were. Um, they were a Europe only release and with shipping and stuff, it didn't matter how you got them. They came out to about 40 bucks a piece. I, I think I got them for a little less than that, but it was right around there, uh, which sucks. I, you know, I wish they, they would have been distributed in the U.S., um, I do still see them popping up on the uh, Heavy Metal Museum and a couple other places, though. Um, next up, Exciter, uh, Heavy Metal Maniac. Uh, this was, I, I was really happy about this one. This is one of the Gimme Metal uh, releases from a few months ago. Um, this is another one of those situations. Um, I think I talked about Exumer in my last video where I was, uh, I was about to cancel because you can cancel uh, the months. So, for, like, the, the album for next month is a Ghost debut. I don't like Ghost at all. Um, they just don't do anything for me, so I canceled that one. I was actually about to cancel this, um, and then I double-checked, and I had all of their albums except for this one, um, on vinyl anyway. So really happy to have this one on vinyl. This is not my favorite Exciter album. Um, I still like this one, though. It's usually the second and third album that I go to when I'm in the mood for Exciter. Uh, I've liked pretty much everything they've released, so... Uh, next up, went ahead and grabbed this. Um, these these Judas Priest Anniversary Editions all sound fantastic. Um, this is not my favorite album. After a few more spins, it, it's still not one of my favorite albums. 
but uh, this is the anniversary edition of Point of Entry. Um, they did a killer job on it. It, it sounds fantastic. Um, definitely worth grabbing. Uh, all of these, all of these anniversary editions that have been coming out the last few years sound fantastic. So, um, if you run across them, grab them. Next up, this is one I was really happy to get a hold of. Um, they did a super limited run. It sold out in a matter of hours. Luckily, I uh, I saw it and I was able to buy it right away. I had an original pressing of this, but it's it's just beat up. I ended up selling it a while back. Um, really happy to have grabbed this. I think they had they were selling it for like twenty two bucks. These are already going for close to a hundred bucks. But this is uh, Kiss, the best of the solo albums. Now, unfortunately, mine came with a seam split. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, and when I contacted Kiss, uh, the Kiss web store about it, uh, they were out. They had already sold out of them, so they refunded my money and told me to keep it. So, got it for free. Um, still sucks, though, that it came with a seam split. Next up, again, man, they've been... To, who is it? Is it E1? Yeah, E1 has been uh, doing limited represses of the Crowbar albums. They're all selling out fast. Um, get them while you... Actually, they just posted another one today that they're doing a run of only 500, and it's going to sell out quick. This one sold out in about a week, um, and the prices are already starting to skyrocket on this one. Uh, really cool split-colored vinyl, though. How did they do? And the crowbar stuff, man, they do these super limited runs and uh, the prices go through the roof on them, you know? People love their crowbar. I think the Odd Fellows Rest is already sold out, whether you do the, the, the limited edition colored vinyl or the black vinyl. Um... This one, uh, the limited edition vinyl is already sold out. I think they may have a few of the black left. And again, they just released uh, or just announced another. I don't remember which one it is off the top of my head, but they announced another of the Crowbar albums. Just I just got the email like two hours ago and pre-ordered it. So um, The cool thing about uh, E1, too, is they, they don't list it until they have it in stock. So um, the, if you order it, it's already ready to ship, which is cool. Next up, so I, I was really late to this. I heard everybody talking about how this is the band's best album. I think that's definitely a stretch. Um, I love their, their 70s albums. I don't think it's as good as the 70s albums. However, it's not that far behind. I would probably put it in the top five or six Blue Oyster Cult albums. This one is The Symbol Remains. Uh, it's just a fantastic album. Um, I've given this a bunch of spins. Um, actually, I may listen to it after the video. Um, I really dug this one, though. Um, highly, highly recommend grabbing that if you're a fan of any of the any of the Blue Oyster Cult stuff. I mean, you just you just can't go wrong. Uh, next up, this one just came in about a week ago. I've been playing it nonstop. Uh, this is the Silver Cord of Severed from Mortification. Uh, this is the most recent reissue from Sound Mass. Uh, Scott uh, Scott Waters did a really killer job on the cover here. Uh, the original cover was a red background with a bass guitar. Um, it was really late 80s computer graphics. That that whole, it, it just didn't look good. Uh, you know, go online and check it out. Um, this, this new cover is is 100% better. And uh, it's just a fantastic album. Um, Sound Mass has been killing it. Um, I ended up getting this one for a really good price through Metal Helm. Uh, so if you're looking for it for a good price, I would check them out. Uh, next up, one of, not just one of the most important albums for me. Uh, I think one of the best death metal albums of all time. Whether you want to call it death metal, whether you want to call it grindcore, I don't care. This is uh, Necroticism, Discanting the Insalubrious uh, from Carcass. Uh, I've, I've been on a huge carcass kick lately. Um, now also I, I want to mention this. I just got this one in a, a couple weeks ago. So earache has been repressing a lot of their records. They're repressing them from the original masters. Every one I've gotten sounds fantastic. I've bought a few of the bolt throwers. Um, I've got all of the carcasses except for heartwork or I'm sorry, not heartwork except for, uh, 
Swan Song. Swan Song sold out in every format or every variation insanely fast. I was surprised. I mean, I know everybody loves, uh, you know, that was a real crossover album that, that people from that like different genres really got into. I was really surprised that one sold out faster than Heartwork did. Um, but they've been doing a fantastic job. This, I think this one's on purple vinyl. I'm not going to pull it out. Um, I think this is one of the most important death metal albums released. I've talked about this before. Everybody talks about Heartwork being the first real melodic death metal album. And there's people that complain uh, or, or that complain that, that say it's uh, Gothenburg that had the first one. Um, the Gothenburg bands, was it In Flames? No. Um, maybe it was In Flames. One of, one of the Gothenburg bands. I think this is the first melodic death metal band. This is where you really see the transition from grindcore. And, and there's some really killer melody in here. It's not as melodic as Heartwork was. This is still a fantastic album. This is the album that really got me into death metal and extreme music. I had heard death. I had heard a few bands before that. And that I thought, oh, that's cool. Um, this was the album that got me into it, though. And when I bought this new, I played this thing for months. Everybody that I was hanging out with was sick of this album. I played it so much. Um, this is a must-have. Uh, again, this is the, the reissue that Earache just did, and it sounds fantastic. Um, I've actually got, like I said, I bought all of the reissues. They all sound phenomenal. Um, the only one I don't have yet is Symphonies of Sickness, and it's I've ordered it. It just hasn't come in for some reason. And I haven't listened to the new carcass. I've got the new carcass sitting right here. Um, I'll probably listen to it this weekend when I have time to actually sit down and listen. Um, but from what I've heard, I've heard two songs from it so far, I think, online. And they've both been killer. And then last but not least, um, this is the band that I love. I got into them, I believe it was their second album. This is before anybody, before they really blew up. Um, I was at a, a, I, their album was on a listening station at a Zia in Phoenix um, and I checked it out. They, it was more they, more death metal um, then. Um, and, and I've loved everything they've released. This is probably my least favorite release from them. Um, but I still love that. It, it's still really killer. Um, I just think um, it's not as heavy as, as the stuff that I like from them. I Now, even though their last album, Magma, was, was, pretty, was pretty progressive as well. Um, I think they should have, if they would have stuck in that realm a little more, this one has gone a little bit more progressive. What I, what I do think is cool about this album is, is I don't know if all of the money from it or portions of it is going to uh, a fund to save the Amazon, but this is a uh, fortitude from Gojira. Really dig this. I, I've given it a bunch of spins. It'll get spun a bunch of times before it ends up in the, in the, in the collection. Um, just a fantastic, uh, album and i love the duplantier brothers so um that's it guys uh short and sweet uh, i hope everybody's doing good subscribe um take care vc